For the last one, I'm going to be I thought I'd talk about music. We have music, so like, this is another one to talk about music. I already talked to you about my favorite albums of the year, you know? And I also um, want to talk about the albums because I listened to some albums, I gave some artists some chances, and I hate some of their projects. I don't own them on CDs, obviously, because I don't like them. But I want to talk about my three albums that I hate the most. Because if you didn't see my last list, my three top three albums were Sweetener, LM5, and Kamikaze. In my opinion, all were great records. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <clears throat> we're gonna talk about the top three worst albums side side. Okay. Okay, number three, Scorpion My Drake. I hate this album. Okay. There's twenty five tracks. And I don't have the track list in front of me, but I can do a breakdown of it. I don't remember most of the tracks. I only like five. I can't even remember what they're called. <laughs> And this list I like on there is called JJ, and then the Emotionless, and then, uh, like, I can't even remember the names of the songs that I actually like on this album, so what does that make you say about the, uh, so what do I have to say about this album? In my opinion, it's a completely forgettable, too many tracks, and the singles, the only, I like two, one of the singles on the album, okay, um, what is it, I liked it non-stop, but then I realized how bad it was when it got played on the radio more, I realized the lyrics, or just like, why? I didn't like Nice for What, like I said, I thought that was trash. I like God's Plan. Well, it wasn't there. I'm upset it was okay, honestly. I kind of thought it was stupid. Don't Matter to Me, got released to single. That's one of the only songs I liked in that album. I know the vocals from Michael Jackson weren't his top quality, but I actually like that song. Was it a little disrespectful that he was using his name? Yes, it, of course it was. Did I like the song? I did, actually. I thought Michael Jackson was the best part of the song. So. Okay. <clears throat> what else can I say about this album? The bars on here are trash. Most of them are trash. Like, his songs where he talks about his kid, it's like bad that he had to even be told by Pusha T about his kid. It's like, why didn't you tell the world? You need to show what you're with your kid. You could have just been like, you know, I got a kid. But look what happened. Now everyone knows, and now you get to come out about it. Because, you know, if he didn't say anything, you wouldn't have said anything yourself. What, is the, what was the line in? I, wasn't like, I forgot what song it was. It was like, I wasn't hiding the, my kid from the world, I was hiding the world from my kid. It's like, you're, it's like, you're lying. You were hiding him. You could have just said, you know, they exist. You didn't have to show us a picture or anything. You didn't have to be like DJ Khaled with the sign and be like, Hey, look, I'm a child everywhere. You could have just been like, hey, he exists. He's my son. It's like, why didn't you just say something? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Doing that. Number two, we have Queen by Nicki Minaj. I was so disappointed when I listened to this album. I can't explain it. I, I haven't listened to a Nicki album, so, yeah. So you're probably thinking, oh, you're stupid, you, 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 you don't know Nikki. I know her, I've heard her singles, I've listened to a couple songs off her albums, because I listened to the whole project. This is the first project I listened to. I'm very disappointed. I did not like this album. Like I said, too many tracks. 20 tracks. Apparently, if she added Phoebe in, because um, her album can get number one or whatever, I'm like, I remember, I followed her on Twitter, she was being so annoying because her album didn't get number one, like, what? It's like, be grateful you even got number two. She's mad because Astro World by Travis Scott did, which I was going to listen to, it was a record I wanted to listen to, but I couldn't stay on the auto-tune, so I just turned it off and said, nah. But, like, I just can't stand people to use auto-tune, like, every, every song and stuff. Like, Future's annoying, in my opinion. Uh... Okay, with Queen. I don't remember her song. Actually, I do. I know a lot of songs on there. I like LLC. I'm gonna go over some of the songs I really like. LLC, Come See About Me. Chun Li, obviously. Chun Li is that girl. Ooh, she is. Um, <clears throat> I like I like Coco Channel. I haven't heard it in a while, though, like, but I do like that one a bit. Oh. Uh, but there are songs out there I can't stand. Sir with Future makes me angry. Like, I never want to hear it again. I only heard it once. I was like, oh, turn it off. Oh, it's so stupid. What's the point? 
Fifi was 6'9. You already know how I feel about it. Trash. <clears throat> okay, I should remember. I did like Gontra Burdens, like a little. I thought it was okay. Everyone loves it. I thought it was okay. Barbie Dreams, I didn't really like too much, actually. I was just like, okay, when this ends already, it's been like how long? So I, I, I give it a 6 out of 10. I just don't feel the overhype for the track. I like the Majesty track with Eminem and Labyrinth. I liked some of it. I liked Eminem's part. I liked part of Nikki's, and then I didn't like how she came in at the end. She didn't need to do that. After the chorus repeat, she could have just stopped. But that she just dragged the song down. Labyrinth chorus was good. I thought Majesty was a good not nah, Majesty. Oh my god, Good Form was good. And then I listened to the remix of Little Wayne, and I was like, ew, I did not like Little Wayne's verse. I also didn't like their song, Bitch Sex. That was a bad song. That was bad. I hated it. Several out of ten. Like, what was that? Like, what? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sad that Barbie Tings wasn't on there. It was actually a 